Hi guys, it's Shane with DropPacket.org. Today I'm just doing a quick video showing a new Fortinet setup I have at home. I had an old 60D Wi-Fi set up in the corner, connected directly to the cable modem. It has an access point, router, and firewall all built into one unit. But because it's in the basement, in the corner of the house, it didn't have great coverage on the first and second floors. So I got a Forta AP also a Fortinet product, connected it into the garage and then PoE back to the 60D. So it's all centrally managed from here. It allows easy roaming with Wi-Fi. You can roam with your phone, your laptop for example, from one area to the other and it'll gracefully switch back and forth between the two access points. But what I noticed is up on the second floor we didn't have great coverage Sometimes it would flip back and forth between these a little too frequently. And then also out on our deck we didn't have great coverage. So what I did is I went out on eBay and I bought a, another Forda AP and I stuck it right in the center of the house on the first floor. Connected it back with PoE again to the 60D. So now everything's centrally managed. I also put an external antenna on the side of the house, connected it to the 60D. So now the garage access point covers the garage, the driveway, a lot of the front yard. The central access point covers the whole first and second floor. It also covers the deck now. And the external antenna I put out here covers this whole side of the house. We got great coverage. Everything's centrally managed from the 60D. So we can walk around the house, walk into the backyard, walk in the front yard, garage, etc and our devices roam with no problems. I can be on a VoIP call with my laptop and walk around the house, go outside, no issues, no drop calls. It's a great setup. A few things to keep in mind. I'm going to show you the Fortinet portal and some of the access point related screens. Some interesting things I found when I set this up. Some things to keep in mind when we're looking at those screens. For Wi-Fi, these are just general numbers that people go by. If it's 70 dB or stronger, that's considered a great signal. You're not going to have any problems with streaming, audio, video, things like that. 80 dB is okay. You might not necessarily have the greatest experience with VoIP, video, for example, but email and browsing is going to work fine. When you start getting the 90 dB, that's pretty poor signal. You're going to start having problems. So just keep these ranges in mind when we're looking at the screens. So here we are in the 60D. Just going to do a quick overview of adding an access point and then go over some cool tools I found towards the end. If you have any specific questions, feel free to put them down in comments and I'll try to address them in future videos. The latest access point I added was a 223B. So I came in the profiles, created a profile specifically for 223B, told it which radios to use, which SSIDs to advertise out which radios, which channels, signal strength of the radios, all of the generic info to set up an access point. I pre configured this. Then I plugged the access point into the Ethernet cable, and via PoE it powered up. Grabbed an IP address, automatically downloaded the profile associated with 223Bs. Within a few minutes, clients were connecting to it. Everything was good to go. I then came in, renamed it, upgraded the OS. Very easy setup. Lastly, I just want to show you a rogue access point monitor. Now that we have three access points centrally managed from the 60D, this tool becomes a lot more powerful. So what you're seeing here is between our three access points we're learning a total of 26 external SSIDs. You can see the SSID, MAC address, signal strength, whether it's interfering with your network or not. You can also see which of your access points are detecting that SSID. A lot of cases here two, sometimes three of our access points are detecting it, which helps you triangulate where that access point sits, for example. The channel, encryption, security type, vendor info, a lot of good info here. 
it's more useful for an enterprise environment where you're trying to spot potential security risks, such as somebody spoofing your SSID, or just troubleshooting Wi-Fi issues in general. But very interesting tool. The more access points you have, the more powerful this tool becomes. Thanks for watching today. If you have any comments, feel free to put them down below. And always, please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks.